I don't see a lot of people eating dehydrated pork on the trail. In this video, we'll look at breakfast, lunches, and dinners made from Simply Shreds and Golden Island pork jerky. Simply Shreds is a finely shredded dried pork with a mild black pepper flavor. The Goose Island Korean barbecue pork jerky has been a favorite in our family for years. My wife calls it pork crack because it's so addicting. To attempt to compare apples to apples, I cut up the jerky into small slices and shredded them in a food processor to make it easy to rehydrate and use on the trail. The Simply Shreds product is remarkable for how finely it's shredded. The processed barbecue jerky resemble the texture of bacon bits. Hikers are always concerned for what things cost, so let's look at pricing. The Simply Shreds is about $5.20 per bag if you buy five. The Korean barbecue jerky is $11.99 at my local Costco. The Simply Shreds bags are 2.2 ounces each. The jerky comes in at a 14.4 ounce bag. At first glance, the cost per ounce of the jerky is a lot lower, but if you look at their online prices for similarly sized packages, the costs are pretty comparable. So what's in this stuff? The Simply Shreds has soy sauce as its number two ingredient, where the jerky has sugar as its number two and number three ingredients, something that will come up later when we start using it in meals. Let's try and make sense out of the macros of these two products. I normalize the numbers to a 31 gram serving of each, which is half a package of the Simply Shreds. The barbecue calories are almost 20% higher, which isn't too surprising given the amount of sugar. The Shreds has double the fat, and both have a similar protein content. But what surprised me was the carb contents are similar, if you can believe the packaging. This doesn't make any sense with the barbecue jerky having higher calories than half the fat. Anyway, that's what the package nutrition info implies. We'll take these pork samples on two overnight hikes. The first one in the petrified forest in the painted desert section. I'm out here in the painted desert, adjacent to the petrified forest. Getting ready to cook up some of my Simply Shreds with some ramen today for lunch. Right by the Onyx Bridge, you can probably see a piece of uh, petrified log in the background there. And uh, right around noontime, and I'm ready for lunch. Got my ramen going there. Time to drop in the dehydrated pork. Here's our meal, ready to eat. Looks pretty good. Well, it's time to give our Simply Shreds a taste here in my pork ramen soup. Let's give this a shot. Hopefully I won't burn my lips. That's pretty dang good. Beats the, uh, the plain ramen. The pork doesn't add a whole lot of uh, texture in a soup like this. It kind of disappears into the soup, but uh, the flavor is, uh, is really very good. And then of course you have all the nutritional benefits. Here's my campsite that night among some big petrified wood fossils. Morning, doing breakfast in the vestibule this morning. It's pretty windy out there. It was windy all night long, I'd say blowing 25, 30 miles an hour gusts. And uh, the stove doesn't do very well in the wind, so I'm having breakfast in the, in the vestibule this morning. No sermons about how I'm gonna burn down my tent. I've done this safely for quite a period of time with a canister stove, it's really not too bad. I'm just heating up the water now, and uh, I'm gonna have a little coffee, and then I'm gonna rehydrate my eggs, and then we're gonna try out our two kinds of pork this morning, the uh, Simply Shreds and the uh, um, Korean barbecue. All right, I've got my tortilla with cheese, and now I've got my Simply Shreds here. I'm going to just uh, sprinkle some of that, hopefully without the dry packet, just on top of the eggs here this morning. I could have mixed it in and rehydrated it with the eggs, but uh, then I would have had to use all the eggs for that, and I wanted to do half of the eggs with the uh, Korean barbecue. So here we go. We're going to give this a shot. Looks pretty good. Lord knows I'm hungry. It's been 10 hours since I last ate, so time for my breakfast burrito here. Pretty darn good. I made an executive decision to use all the cheese with the Simply Shreds because I didn't think it would go well with Korean barbecue. That's one of the pluses and minuses of the, of the heavily flavored meats like the Korean barbecue is they add flavor to things, but they don't always mix with other things that you're eating it with. Whereas the Simply Shreds has some flavor to it, but it's not so heavy that uh, 
you gotta be real careful with what you eat it with. So, well, it was a pretty darn good breakfast. All right, now it's time for the uh, Korean barbecue alternative. And these, this is the jerky that I shredded in the food processor. Let's put on a generous helping there since we don't have any cheese with this variant. Try to sneak a sip of coffee in here. Mmm, Starbucks in the morning. Starbucks VL. So this is the Korean barbecue, and it's got more flavorful, but boy, you really pick up on that sugar right away. It's really sweet, and with the eggs, it's almost cloying sweet. So this is good, but it might be better with something where that sugary flavor is a little bit more acceptable. So it's an option. It's calories, cheap calories, but a lot of sugar. As I'm getting down into uh, more of the pork, it's also clear that the um, even with the food processing this is quite a bit chewier and uh, could have used a little rehydration I think if I had rehydrated this with the eggs it would have not been quite so chewy so being regular jerky and not being shredded as finely as the simply shreds this requires just uh, a little bit more rehydration the next hike was along the Arizona National Scenic Trail the Gila Canyon section a scenic area of Sonoran Desert Today I'm out along the Arizona National Scenic Trail, the Gila Canyon section, just west of Kearney, Arizona. And uh, today's lunch is Idahoan uh, fully loaded potato soup, a half a package of that. And then a half a package of the Simply Shreds uh, pulled pork, which is now labeled as black pepper flavor. And uh, this will go into about two cups of water, boiling water, and we'll let it rehydrate and then uh, it's time for lunch. We've heated our water to a boil and added our pulled pork and our Idahoan potato soup. The Idahoan potato soup is one of my favorite trail lunches. It uh, goes well with so many different uh, proteins. Uh, I add salmon, tuna, spam, uh, summer sausage, uh, you name it, you can you can uh, dump just about any kind of protein in there, and it will go real well. Uh, the simply shreds really blend in here. You can hardly uh, you can kind of kind of see some of the pulled pork in there. But that's one of the nice things about this product, I think, is that it does uh, it does rehydrate so well. It uh, really is almost instantaneous with uh, how quickly it'll it'll uh, absorb water. So no need to boil or anything like that. So in this case, I just uh, brought the water to a boil and added the soup and the pork and uh, now I'm ready to eat as soon as it cools off a little bit. Okay, I think we're ready to chow down here. The uh, thing that takes the longest to rehydrate in the soup, there's uh, some kernels of corn. And it's been my experience that dehydrated corn is one of the hardest things to, uh, to rehydrate, but uh, here we go. This looks uh, pretty darn good. Uh, it's still pretty hot, but I'm going to try not to burn myself here. Wow, that's good. Very filling. The uh, the starch and the potato soup and the vegetables in there, combined with the protein and the pork, is really uh, a great combination. This is really a good lunch. My campsite that night was up on a ridge with a great view to the north of the White Canyon Wilderness and to the south, the Gila River Valley. All right, just getting ready to start dinner here up on the Arizona Trail. And tonight's meal is uh, a variant of Andrew Skirka's uh, beans and rice burrito. So uh, in this bag, we have minute rice and refried beans. And then we have cheese, fritos. These are the magic ingredient that really give it the crunch. And our tortillas, and our Simply Shreds pulled pork. Andrew Skirka's recipe is uh, vegetarian. He doesn't put any meat in his, but I thought uh, this would be a good combo to try out the uh, pork jerky on, uh, Simply Shreds. So that's what we're having tonight. And then of course, since we're, I'm having Mexican going with that, it's kind of hard to tell, but this is uh, tequila. This is a Reposado uh, tequila and uh, I'll be having this uh, with dinner. I'll see you in a few minutes. I gotta, I gotta heat up my water and then we'll uh, check back soon. All right, looks like my water's boiling here. Time to put my boiling water in with my minute rice and my refried beans. I've never been real exacting about how much 
water to use to rehydrate things. I probably use too much or too little. While you're away, of course, open the Fritos. One of the side benefits of having Fritos with a meal is uh, you get a before dinner snack. And I discovered Fritos go really well with tequila. So we're gonna let this rehydrate for a while. I'll be back in, in a jiff. My beans and rice are rehydrated and I know I'm cutting off my head here, but I wanted you to be able to see what the heck I'm making. So now I'm gonna spoon this delicious mixture of refried beans and rice. These refried beans you can get at uh, Walmart and I've got about half of my portion on there. Now I've got my Simply Shreds. Take some of that and just sprinkle it right on top. I could have rehydrated this with the beans and rice, but I opted against that. Now we have some cheese. The shredded, pre-shredded cheese doesn't keep very well on the trail, so I'm having this uh, the first night that I'm out so that uh, it doesn't get moldy on me. If you use uh, like a block of cheddar, that works uh, a lot better. All right, now the pièce de la résistance. Oh, but no. Um, Skirka uses... Uh, taco seasoning, and I'm just using a little Tabasco sauce to give this uh, a little bit of heat here. We'll see how that works. So I'm using up all my Tabasco on this one, and then we'll attempt to do a burrito roll here. All right, here we go. Wow, that's really good. Nothing like being out here in the wilderness, in the mountains, beautiful evening, shirt sleeve weather, having a great meal, and of course, a nip of tequila. But I gotta say, the Fritos in here are the magic ingredient. That crunch that comes in with the beans and rice mixture and the sh and the Simply Shreds pork is just great. You know, it's not so much the flavor, it's the sound, you hear the crunch in your ears. Wow, great meal. I really recommend this. Great combination. Everything's available off the shelf. <clears throat> beans and the rice you get at Walmart. Same thing with the Fritos. Simply Shreds, you just order off the internet. Tortillas you get from your local grocery store. Great meal. The next morning broke clear, cold and very windy, but the sunrise was beautiful on the mountains. Morning. Well, it's uh, breakfast in the vestibule again. It uh, wasn't supposed to be windy at all on this trip when I checked the weather forecast before I left. It uh, showed no wind, but it's blowing like crazy out there this morning. It's pretty chilly, so uh, I'm in the vestibule here. And uh, my water just started to boil and uh, this morning because I'm just using the Slimply Shreds with my eggs I'm going to uh, add them to the eggs before I add the water and uh, we'll see what the, if that changes the taste at all. Boy these things are really finely shredded. It's amazing. I don't know what process they use to uh, get these so fine, but they're almost like cotton. All right, add our hot boiling water here. Hopefully not on my fingers. And we'll add the rest of that water to my coffee this morning. Got my Starbucks going for me. We'll give this a mix and let it rehydrate for a while. It's the eggs that take the most time to rehydrate. But uh, we'll check back with our breakfast burrito in a few minutes. Yeah, I got my cheese, the last of that bag of cheese laid out on my burrito there. And uh, I'm going to dump my egg and pork mixture on there. Looks like a pretty hearty breakfast. Smooth that out a little bit with the spork. That's a big burrito. This is uh, three eggs with polenta. You can see my video on how I dehydrate my scrambled eggs. So they're pretty bulky. Tortillas are starting to dry out a little bit. Oh no, I got a leak. 
tortillas are starting to get a little brittle here, dried out. So I opted for the double wrap. A few extra calories won't hurt me. Mmm, pretty tasty. Nice Sonoran Desert. Big old swarrows everywhere. Look at the size of that guy. He's got to be 150 years old. And then I'm spot I'm at right here. There's access to the Gila River. That's a um, old railroad trestle bridge. There's a little railroad that seems to go through here uh, once or twice a day. I don't know if it's an ore train or what it is. There's only a couple cars on it, but hasn't been too intrusive. Been kind of scenic actually. But um, a nice little spot right here to have a nice lunch. Okay, it's time for my last meal in this uh, dehydrated pork series. And in this one, we're going to do the, um, the Korean barbecue jerky and ramen noodles. I'm thinking oriental, oriental. This will probably work. So I've got my two cups of water in here. I'm going to boil it up and get this going, and we'll see what this tastes like. All right, I've got my... Uh... My ramen noodles in there, the all-important uh, pork flavor packet. I don't quite get it. Uh, people poo-poo the, the, the flavor packets in the ramen noodles because of all the sodium and stuff, and then they go out and they buy electrolytes to add to their water. So I put the flavor packet in there, and you can see there's quite a bit of jerky. And I'm just coming up to a boil, so uh, I'm going to turn down the heat and give her a stir. Well, there's the finished product. It sure looks good. Just waiting for it to cool down a little bit. The, the noodles are fully softened and uh, ready to eat, but it's still boiling hot. This is still a little hot, but uh, I'm going to try not to burn my mouth here uh, and give this a shot. So this is much better than the eggs. As I mentioned before, the, the oriental noodle flavor, the pork noodles, pork ramen, and the uh, Korean barbecue actually go pretty well together. Oddly enough, it's still really sweet. I don't know how much sugar is in that uh, Korean barbecued pork, but there's got to be a ton of sugar in there because uh, this is still a little sweet. But hey, if you're looking for inexpensive calories on the trail, this is this is a viable option. It's uh, it's tasty. Um, there's there's definitely some calories in there, and as long as you mix that uh, Korean barbecued pork with something that'll complement it, it's uh, um, it's a it's a worthwhile meal coming to you from the Arizona National Scenic Trail near uh, Kearney, Arizona Along the Gila River. This is Kurt Papke. Hope you enjoyed this video and If you learned something from it, please click like or subscribe down below See sunrise, sneaky